Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, how are you doing? How is life treating you? How was your week and your Father's Day weekend? You know, um, once in a while, I ask questions on my site, and one of the things I did was ask, um, what was your memory with your father? And there was a slew of responses from memories from fishing, from going camping, memories with um, being in the arms of dad or dad's coming for a rescue, especially the one that uh, um, he had a dream and his father came to rescue him and check to see what he's doing. You know, I like to think of fathers as the rescuers, right? And they are the strength, they are the power. And the when we think about our moms, moms are the nurturer, the love, the caregiver. And yet it's a perception because for moms who are single parents, they become both. Or for fathers who are single parents, they become both. They are the strength and the nurturer. So in life, we must take the best version. So because of all that, I that evening I was talking about something else and uh, we started talking. I have a private group. And in that private group, we started talking about women and weight and relationships and Next thing you know, it it got all um, willed back into what is happening today with the COVID-19 and everything. And I said, yeah, not only COVID-19, but so many have COVID-15. That means I and so many have gained weight during this time. And how do we deal with this? And one of the ladies turned around and said, well, I've been fighting wait for the last 12, 13 years because of I've gone through my menopause. I am in menopause. And I said, oh, come on, is it about menopause? And it's not dissing it, but recognizing not only stress affects us, menopause affects us, um, anxiety, Everything is emotional, yet menopause is emotional, mental, and physical. So for someone who has been through my own transformation in through the entire menopausal uh, part, hi, Siddha John, how are you? And know the ups and downs know how it affects us emotionally and how it can affect us mentally and having a menopausal what what I, what I call it a pausal moment right and then it affects us physically it does from hot flashes to weight gain to going hot and cold and emotionally being upset. So what is it that so many of us go through is how it affects us emotionally and we start eating emotionally. The same way as through this COVID, the last two and a half, three months, first we thought it's only temporary and then the temporary became uh, a little bit more consistent and boredom is one of the reasons we start eating not only boredom but depression so when someone gets depressed they start eating some people are getting angry they eat and those are the things that I talk about and I help my clients 
So when I work with my clients, and this is the email I got afterwards, and uh, I, I wrote it in here, and let me check it, and there you go, that's what it says. It says, Dear Lisa, thank you for the other night, uh, because she messaged me afterwards and said, I was wondering how you can help me with my weight issues since I have been struggling for over 12 years and I am in my 50s. Well, my lady, I got to say this. I can help you peel away layers and layers and layers of emotional weight and physical weight. Why? Let me give you an example. When, when we go through menopause, not only the hot flashes, the weight gain and everything, it affects us. We think there's days that we wake up and we feel foggy. I remember when I was going through this, I would lose, not necessarily lose, but misplace things, especially keys. Believe me, my dad was like, what is going on with you and keys? I would put my keys here. I would walk away, come back. And it's like, I would walk out the door, leave my keys. And so many times I would misplace. And I knew where it was. It's just, it would be like a lapse of a moment. And I don't know if you relate to this or not, but that's, it's not on purpose and it's not that it's happening but it's just we go in through this through this foggy moments we also become very emotional we as women become very emotional and that hot and cold it's not only physical of uh sweaty palms but sweaty body and some people literally sweat at night in bed and they have to get up and change and everything that is not only discomforting for the woman but if we are in a relationship if we are sharing a bed it it becomes a little bit uncomfortable because of this hot and cold and blanket on and blanket off and or the windows open the windows closed but those are only things that we can make a change. But what's happening from the inside, it's feeling as if we are out of control. Feeling that when you or anyone else is gaining the weight and feeling disproportion we feel ugly we feel that it's we're going through this menopausal thing and it's really uncomfortable to sweat the sweat under the arms the sweat right here and the fogginess and memory lapse depression coming on you know, those are the things that we go through and some people make fun of it. It's like, oh yeah, you're on your menopause. And when we start struggling with it and fighting it, it becomes worse. Just like anything else in life. When there is this struggle and constant tug of war, it becomes harder and more difficult and i i just want to know if you have experienced this ladies have you gone through this up and down or um the discomfort and it affects you emotionally and then there comes the resentment not only by why people don't understand it, especially your loved ones that you live with, but also your own wanting to 
endless, constantly being upset. It's like, when is this going to end? What am I doing with this? And that in itself creates more uh, angst. It creates more anxiety. And when we have anxiety, then we're building on the anxiety. We're building on, I don't like this body. We're constantly being negative about ourselves, about our body, about our looks. We look ugly. The hair doesn't look good. Everything becomes, and that in itself is the spiral that takes us down. Now, there are women who most often don't even feel as much as others do. I myself didn't go through all that physical uh, up and down and feeling the menopause. Mine was more on the mental and the emotional. And because I live with my, by myself, the emotions, there was no one to have a tug of war with except my dog, right? So, but it affects in a different way with everyone. So what can we do? We know that you need, phys uh, if you want to become healthier, you need um, more iron, you need more estrogen, and you can do all the uh, in, um, essential oils and everything. Went through it in the winter and enjoyed the hot flashes. Awesome. And so what is it that you went through? How did this affect you? Um, one of the things I recommend is for you to embrace this moment. Every single woman, just like from the time that we get into our womanhood and we come to embrace that transition, because this is all transformation. It's like the worm that comes through the chrysalis, right? So what happens? The worm that comes through the chrysalis and it comes through in order for it to blossom into this beautiful butterfly. That's how I think of us as women. And every stage has its own beauty. And if we come to embrace that beauty of ours, now, say just to hashtag one if you agree, or just say yes if you agree that the beauty of each transition, each transformation has its own ups and downs, just like starting a business, starting a relationship, starting anything. First, it's absolutely amazing and beautiful. Then you come to the challenges and how you deal with the challenges, how you cope with the challenges. It's like, let me give you an example. Not everyone is technology savvy. So for me to learn uh, even how to operate an iPhone or a new computer, anything that is brand new is the same thing. And that's, that's one of the beauties in life, this, womanhood from being a girl to becoming a woman to if you go through the birthing process from the time that you become pregnant to the time that you have your babies and your body going through this time of saying okay you've done all that now it's time for us to go into this hibernation and the hibernation is the menopausal time which is in our late 40s to late 50s. And menopause can take approximately 14 to 16 years from premenopausal all the way to postmenopausal. Yes, that's how long the duration is. But it's like about five or six years of the true menopause time. And then we flourish into another stage. And I love to say every stage of us 
and no matter if it is a weight gain or weight loss. And sometimes I've got an audio recording that if you truly want to, and if you're going through menopause or you know someone who's going through menopause, I would love to gift this to you. You can uh, text me at 818-221-2797 or the message, uh, I will have the link below. Just text me at that number, 818-221-2797. And when you text, text the word pause, P-A-U-S-E. And I will gift you my audio recording, a hypnotic audio recording that you can listen each and every night. And it will bring your menopausal uh, leverage more into a wave instead of all the way up and down. Anyone, any woman between the ages of 46, 47 to 57, if you are going through any kind of an menopausal, this can help you directly. Now, why? Because hypnosis taps within our subconscious mind. Those are specific words and suggestions that I use as a clinical hypnotherapist, when my clients come and sit and work with me, either for menopause or for their weight gain or their emotional anxiety and whatever, we tap into our subconscious mind and directly have a communication in our hypnotic state with the body to bring that um, body's estrogen up. I even had a call just two days ago, just two days ago, Monday, no, two days ago, yesterday, Monday. <laughs> I'm losing, uh, I'm getting lost in my own days. <laughs> Nowadays with this COVID, sometimes I'm thinking I'm waking up now that I'm at the office all the time, but in like a month ago, it was like, is today Monday? Is today Tuesday? I had nothing to do with menopause. This is what happens when we do the same thing like Groundhog's Day, right? So back to this client, she called me and she said she is 46 years old and she wants to get pregnant because she got married two years ago and they, she wants to get pregnant but she is having miscarriages and the doctor has said that she needs to bring her levels up of or ph3 and uh, so with bringing that level up and having a uh, a connection of a mind and body this is the incredible thing that we can truly tap into our inner self into our subconscious every molecule every cell every uh every organ every tissue we can directly speak to it and ask the body to begin the process of either bringing that level up or when we are having um blood pressure to bring the blood pressure lower and make the adjustments, asking the body to hold space for the body, for the baby, and maybe even bypass the menopausal effect to become pregnant. I know sometimes it's very difficult to fathom this, but the same way as we can manage pain like I do my manage pain and I have root canals. I uh, twisted my ankle the other day and all I did was automatically just adjust my ankle and then do my hypnosis focused on that one area to concentrate the pain and release the pain, let go of the pain and begin the healing process. Within hours, the black and blue and the redness was gone. Yesterday, I was functioning so well, you wouldn't even know that I had an injury. 
And that same thing happens with menopause. We can truly delve deep within and ask the body to cooperate to what it is that we want. And the body will do as the mind says it. So great background. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. Mm. Missed you yesterday, but you know what? I want to be in touch with you more. So that's one of the things about our mind-body connection. So my menopausal hypnotic uh, recording works directly with your subconscious mind. If you or someone is going through it, just experience this and see the effects for yourself. See how it benefits you. Believe it or not, I'm not selling anything. But for someone who's already been through this, I know it works. It works with weight. We, not only for menopause, but if you have gained weight through this time and you have been eating emotionally, it's like uh, that empty hole that you have been filling it, not doing your exercises and everything, or you have done this yo-yo and want something that lasts longer, I have audio recordings for that too. As a matter of fact, my book for Stand Up and Slim Down is exactly for that. It's for you to do the work internally and see that emotional uh, blocks, emotional baggage that you are holding onto so that you can begin peeling it away. Sometimes women who cannot get pregnant is because of an emotional block, of something that has a trauma has affected them and now they are ready to release it and get pregnant, but something is standing in their way. And that in itself, it can be resolved. Because I guide you to that place that only you know. No one can tap into your psyche. Only you can give permission for that. But more importantly, I hold space for you, for you do, to do the work. If it is menopause, let's put a pause on gaining weight. Let's do the work and tap within and see how easily and effortlessly you can manage your weight you can manage your emotions. And today's rule, I want you to know. What we do is evoke what was. That means we bring things to the surface. And embrace what is, which is today reality. What you are going through every single day. How your body feels. Embrace it. Say thank you. Be grateful to this body of yours that it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be instead of fighting it. Love it. So that we can evolve to what it is that you want, your desired goal, one step at a time. And for that, I'm right here. I stand by you. Remember, I stand by you to hold your hand and guide you through this. If need be, I'll even stand in front of you to protect. Most times I stand so that you can stand up for yourself and appreciate and accept yourself for who you are because you do matter. Every essence of who you are matters. Not what you have, not what you do, as much as who you are as a woman. So today's message is appreciating and accepting all that you are. So any thoughts, any questions, I'm, I'm open. I'm open to answer any thoughts, any questions, and anything. Just like my sign. You see my sign? 
I created that sign. You have no idea how many versions of that I created. And if you look at my logo, you can even go to my website, which is healwithin.com and look at it. There is layers and layers and layers. There's three layers. That means the evoke, embrace, evolve, right? But the metaphor of that is that we are so many layers of who we are because we're not stagnant, we're ever evolving. And then there is the third eye, which is that little dot on top that we can see beyond what is. And then I have the lotus, the yellow lotus in the core, in the center, because our core, our center is where we begin, begin life. Everything is right here. Our digestive tracts are right here. Our stomach is here. So everything that we eat, we nurture. How is it that we are nurturing with life, our surroundings, our environment, ourselves? So that's where the lotus is. And then there is another layer. And if you see the grays in there, it's because not everything is black and white. There's gray times in life. And then there's the heart, which talks about our heart, because we are heart-based, love, cherishing, kindness. Yesterday, I was in our private group on Monday nights with a group of women, and we were talking about being nice versus being kind versus nice. And when we are kind, if we do it with our own gratefulness and kindness, being kind to someone without expectations, it's giving. Even when we compliment someone being the compliment uh, receiving the compliment some people have a hard time receiving compliments we're not taking compliments it's not about taking it's about receiving and i i did it with the wrong hand because receiving comes from our left this is where we receive from the left and we give from the right, receiving because the heart is on our left side and we give. So Kuan Yin does the same thing. We receive all the nurturing from the left, which is into our heart and from heart and transfers and we give out, right? Like Tai Chi, Qigong. So when we do goodness, do it with the goodness of your heart. And you no longer need to expect a return. Not that you no longer need to, that's wrong. But leave the expectations. Just do. And that way, when it's not reciprocated, we don't be, we don't get upset do and give give compliments do good and be kind because you want to be we have to stop doing it in order to receive that way we receive more but that's only my thoughts so any thoughts any ideas i can't see anything but um do you have any questions? If you are going through menopause, if you have any thoughts and ideas uh, about gratitude and receiving, by all means, share it with me. I love to learn more. I love to learn more. And thank you for being here, Seda John. Thank you for being here. All I can see is Adrian, Stacy. Thank you for joining me. And 
um, in two weeks, I've got an incredible guest. Uh, please, I will share the posts and everything. I have an, a wonderful colleague of mine, Sharon, who's going to be on a Heal Talk, Real Talk with me. And we're going to talk more about hypnosis and the powers of hypnosis and how it can help you heal within. And until next week, I bid you goodbye and wish you an incredible week. God bless you and may the universal light be with you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.